Hi, I am Divya Pandit. So, I am reading for 2019 July, Virgo. Virgos, here I come. Virgo, Virgo, hmm. Virgo are feeling depressed. Why? Virgos, you are going to feel very, very low also because of the moon energy that is coming in the beginning of July, which is going to be a little heavy. Then it start, July is starting with the new moon. And uh, I think the first week of July is going to be very heavy for you. You're going to feel very low, depressed, overly emotional. And also I feel there are a lot of hidden secrets which are going to disturb you a lot. And uh, work-wise, where you have thought things are going, but it did not materialize the way you thought it would. Okay, the first week is going to be full of all these things. But I feel the second, third and fourth week are going to be beautiful for you. Especially the second week of July is going to turn out to be actually something that you always wanted. Okay, the position that you wanted and uh, the emotional happiness also at work that you wanted is going to turn out very well. The third and the fourth week, rather I will speak about the fourth week. The fourth week is going to turn out absolutely amazing where you are going to get the place and the type of work that you have wanted. So Virgos, it is going to start as if there's nothing left. I am done. I'm stressed. I'm crying. There are so many hidden secrets of the past is going to haunt you. You are not going to even feel well health wise. But Virgos do not get uh, demoralized or demotivated because the third, the second, third and fourth week are actually giving you what you have asked for. The way you want your work to go, it will go. The way things you want to uplift, it will uplift. Even if you are in a business or a job, things are going to change after the second week of July. Things are going to be very, 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 very good. So the first week is going to pull you down. Anyways, the moon energy is, the new moon energy is very heavy. There is maybe not our part of the world, but there is an eclipse. So things are changing. Like, like I said, the wheel of fortune is changing. And there is going to be a lot of change for a lot of zodiac signs. So you, there will be some ups and downs in July. So for you, the first week of July is not going to be that good. But the second, third and fourth week is going to be absolutely amazing. So do not worry. Right now, the state of mind is a lot of uh, things are going on in your mind. And you feel, I, I worked so hard and nothing has happened. I feel like giving up. But do not give up because there is something coming your way, which is going to be absolutely amazing. Okay. So now I'm going to read for relationship. Let me gather my cards. This time I'm not doing, you know, magical fairy cards because there is, because of lack of time. I really do not have a lot of time in my hand because I have to do everything on my own. It's one man show and I have to manage my clients, my work, my everything, my house, my videos. So I'm making quick videos this time. I am making, okay, Virgos, 2019, July, Virgos, and wow, even in your relationship, I feel that you have to choose your battle, this is the first come that, that came, and I feel that you don't even know in your relationship what you are fighting for, so please be focused where you really need to work on your root chakra here. This is, you're feeling spaced out, your money is draining, your relationship is not proper, right it is also because you have stopped receiving and giving when you give you receive remember that and there is some kind of results you are waiting maybe in even in your relationship you are waiting for someone to say yes to you or come back to you or maybe you are also waiting that that relationship might improve yes it will improve only if you open up if you open up you start talking you start communicating you start reaching out only then your relationship will improve. Otherwise, it's going to be the way it is. Right? And if you open up, this is the best card for love reading, which is love abounds. That is a 
ace of cups this is everything this is commitment this is love this is long term relationship this is everything so virgos please believe and please change your perspective because everything is coming beautifully in your way sorry on the way to you and only thing is i feel you really need to see what you're fighting for are you fighting for your love or are you just fighting for your ego right you need to really clear your base chakra also so these are the points you should remember right so that's all this is a beautiful love reading for um, virgos and that's all for today and see you next time and do like my page wild light healing center on facebook subscribe to this channel and email me only for personally paid appointments that's all for today goodbye god bless